Joining me now, Michigan Congressman Fred Upton, who's a Republican and chairman of the House Energy and Commerce Committee. He was in that hearing today. Mr. Chairman, good to see you. And so I want to zero in on that one point that we heard in the middle of that exchange about Kathleen Sebelius maintaining that these new services, contraception coverage and so on, are free, that they are free to the consumer. The point the congressman seemed to be raising, we didn't get all the soundbite in there, was that there's been an admission by some state administrators that the, the price for that has been built into the premiums, some of which are raised, are higher than they were. Look, we know that nothing is free, right? And we are hearing from each of us, each member of Congress, I got to believe, across the country, certainly I am, we're hearing from hundreds and hundreds of our constituents who are getting, are being forced out of their plan. In fact, uh, the statistics are pretty clear that we've got more people that are being told that they've lost their plan than are able to sign up for this uh, new president's health care bill. And, as a, and for those that are now signed up or n newly enrolled, many of them are finding that their premium is skyrocketing. She, re she refused to admit that. She would well, not admit that premiums are going up. And, and, and the architects of this law maintain that while your premium may go higher, the subsidies are going to make it lower. No. In fact, the premiums are going higher. For so many people, the deductibles are going up in the thousands of dollars as well. People are not able to keep the health care plan that they, that they want. We know that all these individual plans, for me in Michigan, we've got almost a quarter of a million Michiganders are, are losing their individual health care plan. And we know that by a year from now, tens of millions, perhaps as many as 80 to 90 million Americans with employer-based health care are going to lose their plans how do as you, well. How do you get anywhere uh, when you're talking to her? I mean, it, I, the, the congressman taking some heat for saying talking to her is like talking to North Korea. Well, but well, when, when know, she refuses to acknowledge that free, that there is no such thing as a free lunch, free, there's no, is that free contraception coverage? It's not free. You know, you, you know what almost happens with all these hearings. It, you know, we we only could have her for two hours today. So shortly after noon, she had to leave. We almost have more questions from her appearance uh, than, than certainly than we had time to ask, and some members weren't able to ask any questions at all. Well, what about this? Was this was just a subcommittee. What about this? Because she came out and said today that she believes strongly in the need for accountability. So today she's yeah. announcing yeah. that she's going to appoint, ask the inspector general to review the development of healthcare.gov. I mean, I ask you, Mr. Chairman, shouldn't she already know the answer to that? She is the Megan, Health and Human Services Secretary. It, it's still Fred. In September, she looked us in the eye and said that they were ready to go, ready to launch, things are ready. I wanted to say on September 30th, she said the goal for success would be 7 million enrollees uh, by the end of March. So here we are in mid-December. We're learning that it's about 350,000. And in fact, but that isn't complete because until people are paid, or have, have actually paid their premium, right. there's, there's nobody on board. And they're not going to know those numbers until the end of the month. So what happens on January 4th, you know, February 15th? Someone goes to the ER, someone goes to the doctor like you just talked to, and they think that they may be enrolled. Who knows if they're, they've paid or not. They've expanded Medicaid uh, in the, you know, more than 100,000 enrollees that were not expected. They're forcing these folks onto the states. The states don't know if they're eligible or not. I mean, it is, this is one giant mess. Wow. Well, we'll look forward to that Inspector General report. Mr. Chairman, Fred, thank you for being thank here. You.